you mentioned the cryptocurrencies. Last time we spoke, you told me you know you just had a regret that you got out too soon. Have you stepped back in? I didn't regret it, as a matter of fact. Um, what I think I said to you was what I, I didn't uh, I didn't know enough about the trade to stay the trade, and I have absolutely no regrets. There are areas of omission and areas of commission. An error of commission is where you lose money. An error of omission is where you don't make as much money as you could have. I made an error of omission. In other words, I made some money. And that's very preferable to losing money. What do you think of when people say, you know, cryptocurrencies and this Bitcoin craze is part of the reason that gold has not been rallying, that we're seeing previous gold investors now flocking to these alternative currencies? Uh, I think it's probable that some of the liquidity that would have gone to gold goes to cryptocurrencies. And I think some of the better, and by better, I only mean well-constructed, well-traded cryptocurrencies. Ethereum and Bitcoin fulfill some of the functions that people assign to gold. They're anonymous and beyond the control of government. Both very good things. What is problematic for somebody of my era, that is a 64-year-old, is that gold has functioned for 2,000 years. Do you think we could see central banks adopting some form of a, a Bitcoin one day? I certainly, I certainly hope so. The central banks are, of course, in the business of counterfeiting. And uh, the blockchain makes counterfeiting much more efficient. So any way that the central banks could utilize a new technology to steal, mm -hmm. Uh, I certainly think they'll adopt it. So, so what do you think of when you hear Jamie Dimon you know, bashing on Bitcoin and, and other banks? Um, I, I, think, uh, I think Mr. Dimon is an extremely intelligent guy and he's following a long established trend in financial services which is to talk your book very loudly. Right. So because it would make banking obsolete? Is that oh, the fear no, here? No, no, no. It wouldn't make banking obsolete. I mean one of the things that Mr. Diamond, I think, recognizes is that we're beginning to be in a bubble phase for the secondary cryptocurrencies, not Bitcoin or Ethereum, so much as a butcher, baker, and candlestick maker coin, where you know five or six young kids get together in a back room, assign themselves 10 million something, and then open the thing at a dollar with a controlled float. Think the Vancouver Stock Exchange in 1970s, except for with no registration cost. I think that's what he recognized. Rick Rule, thank you so much, and I look forward to our in-depth discussion tomorrow at the Minds of Money conference. Thanks always, so much. Always a pleasure, Daniela. Thank you for having me on. And thanks for watching. We'll have much more for you on Kitco.com. Thanks, Rick.